Okay, what is up guys? Here we go again. We're back. Camp Bur Camp Bison Burwash Abandoned Prison. <clears throat> now, if you're on my 360 video, you might be looking straight ahead at the trees. Turn yourself around and you'll be able to see me. You're, I'm facing the other way. Okay, guys. I'm feeling rough. It's been a long night. Rhythm Rider and I stayed up really late. We had a lot of fun. Did a lot of drinking. <clears throat> my throat hurts but this is what we came here to do guys look behind me here this is the Camp Bison Burwash Correction Center which was also a prison farm and uh, it's on a very very large piece of property and the whole land was used for farming and uh, the prisoners were all put to work and then in his side here you'll see the jail cells and where they where, where they stayed this location, guys, was built in 1958, and it closed in 1975. And uh, I'll see if I can maybe throw some more information at you guys, so you can uh, be educated. But I'll have to do that over voiceover or maybe over text because I don't have that information in my head. But here we go, guys. We came here to Urbex. We had a lot of fun. Now it's time to get down to business of what we came to do. So let's get inside. Let's take a look. See you guys on the other side. Okay guys, here we go, taking a look at the outside. This is your main entrance way right here. Now the good thing about this Explore guys is that this property is owned by two guys <coughs> and they'll let you stay here and come visit with permission. <coughs> so all we had to do was sign a safety waiver and uh, give them 20 bucks each and we're free to come here and stay, the whole, stay as long as we want. So here you walk into the, this is the main entrance. And here you've got a cornerstone that was laid by uh, MPP, Minister of Reform Institutions, Minister of Public Works on October 23rd, 1958. And then there was two more of these uh, cornerstone sort of plaques over there, but they've been stolen for whatever reason. So, so that's that. But let's take a walk in, guys. Now we're going to notice that it's in really rough shape, okay? Just letting you know here. Oh. It has been picked through and scrapped and graffiti and you name it, guys. This place has been through it. Oh. Here's a look out the windows to where we just were. <clears throat> guys when we were sleeping last night we heard so many noises outside the weirdest birds the weirdest animal sounds oh like just crazy guys okay so here we go guys this is like the reason to be here it's these hallways these corridors these jail cells now they don't have any uh, cell any doors on the cells but they were not barred jail cell doors. They were actually really thick wooden doors. There's a couple of spots, probably in solitary, where they had uh, jail cell doors. We'll see those a little bit later. Uh, so one whole wing of this prison is off limits because the guys who own the property, they use it. Um, for when they come up here and they camp on their own or they come up hunting and stuff like that. So um, inside here is where we're not allowed to go because it's, it's owned by the owners and they use it inside there. So we weren't able <clears throat> to see what's in there on the other side, but it's pretty much the same from the looks through the windows as this side. We are not looking forward to the walk out, guys. This is a one hour walk in and out of this place. To think that some people do it in one day, it just it's crazy. <clears throat> so down there, guys, is the, uh, the cafeteria and the kitchen, but we're gonna go down there a little bit later. Keep going this way. Oh. 
feeling rough, guys. Take you inside some of the cells. I mean, they're all exactly the same, so. <coughs> I'm gonna take a look outside. What a nice view, eh? Isn't that nice? <coughs> Birds are pissed, though. They don't like us being here. What is up, guys? <laughs> this is what we came to do. We're doing our best. Yeah. See, you guys, here's the doors to the jail cells that I told you that they're wood. But look how thick they are, though. It's not just some plywood door. This is like thick-ass solid wood. Anybody got any guesses of what kind of wood that is? <clears throat> and then the end of this hallway, there's all kinds of garbage. <clears throat> so apparently somebody was once living here one of the guys that uh, owned the place I think might have lived here for a while so he's got all kinds of bullshit left behind <clears throat> we think he was living in here there's, there's, a, there's a lamp there's an alarm clock a pair of pants, propane stove um, he's got some cooking utensils a uh, wood burning stove right there and then there's the bed and then there's a whole bunch of just garbage that was outside so I know a couple of people who have been here <clears throat> to come out and explore and they ran into this weird guy living here so let's take a look here guys just down the two corridors <coughs> Yeah, the colors are really nice in here. And the shadows coming from all of the doors. I tell you guys, these, uh, these swallows are very protective. Like, I'm not going to come and, and disrupt their, their nest, but they just really want us to know that they're here and to leave them alone. It's like they come right for you. <laughs> oh, and then he goes outside. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, if you're wondering why I'm not going in every room, in every jail cell because they're identical. There's nothing interesting in any of them, just so you know, guys. <clears throat> well, then back here is the showers. Interesting room. Take a seat here and wait your turn. And then if you look in here, all of the, uh, all of the shower heads are gone but there's soap dispensers across the whole floor, across the whole wall. <clears throat> so this would have been your shower stall, guys. <coughs> I'm hurting, guys. I'm hurting here. steel doors that they had. Very hefty, heavy duty steel doors. And then over here is what we think was uh, solitary. And you'll see why. It's way back here. It's all uh, very secluded. <clears throat> and then each cell, this was all glass block, as you can see, which has been broken. Followed by huh, a jail cell inside, jail bars, and then your cell. 
And there's three of these on each side. Uh, two of them, actually. <coughs> two on each side. With this thick uh, cell door. So this is what we believe was possibly the solitary. <clears throat> and then here's the shower. Um, solitary confinement always has its own shower. And then this, I don't know what this room is. Not too sure. But anyways, guys, <clears throat> this is <clears throat> what we think was solitary confinement. Take a look out the window, guys. See a look out the back of the property. Super nice. So secluded. Like, I don't think I've ever in my life been this far out in the middle of nowhere, guys. <clears throat> and then this is another solitary confinement <clears throat> right here. It's a nice, nice big penis graffiti there. <clears throat> so moving along this side is identical oh actually no this side this side has three confinement cells and there's one shower for all five of them so there you go and then take a look outside there's an old building there that's been it's, uh, torn down <coughs> Super nice piece of property. So this right here is, yeah, we're going to go over there in a minute. That's the uh, auditorium on the top floor there, which is where we're going to go in a minute. There's a big crow sitting up there on the roof. He's big. Oh. <clears throat> All right, making our way back down the hallway, guys. Excuse me. I think we're around the corner we're about to go around is the longest hallway. So you get a nice long corridor shot. There you go. This is the longest one. Yeah, the only thing unique about these jail cells, guys, is that there's different graffiti in every one of them. But it's all stupid graffiti. It's not like anything that has any depth or meaning. <clears throat> so down here, guys, there's a piece of an old piano. So it looks like there used to be a piano in here, which is very interesting. Up there is where Urbex Jamie and I are camping out. We're gonna go there in a minute. And uh, before I go up on the roof, but we got to finish off this floor here, guys. <coughs> I got to get some Gatorade. Get a drink in me. <laughs> Poor little birds. Let's take a look here, guys. We'll turn around, and I'll show you guys all the way down. There you go. There's the other end. <clears throat> Another larger room here. This is, must have been like a common room. I think there's uh, probably that was a television up on the wall there <clears throat> for the inmates to watch TV. Somebody thought it would be a good idea to take this old uh, 
car seat here or chair and burn it. Right there. And then I think this is identical to the other side, guys, where he goes to a uh, solitary confinement cell. Find out in a minute. <clears throat> yes. What is up, guys? What is up? Brit and Ryder do anything? <laughs> yeah, so here's just the same, guys. More of the same, solitary confinement cells. You want to go inside? See what it was like to be in solitary confinement? There was obviously, there was probably a bed in here and a toilet, but it's not here anymore. <clears throat> so it's interesting that they had a cell within this wall here. So you've got yourself celled off here. You can see where the bars were, but they've all been cut out. But then this little area right here was uh, a part of your cell, but you weren't allowed to use it. Interesting. Down there is the power plant. We're gonna head down there in a bit. <clears throat> well, then again, this side will have two cells and a shower. weird room right here. Maybe this is a, uh, well this is probably a toilet guys. Toilet and sink and shower is what I'm guessing. But what the hell do I know? And then again that's the power plant right there. We'll go down there in a little bit. It's so quiet out here guys. Like so quiet. What are you guys thinking about this place so far? Are you liking it? Is it interesting? We did a uh, <coughs> excuse me. We did a haunted video last night. We tried ex uh, exploring it all through the night in the dark, to see if anything happened. Because some people call this the haunted prison. There's nothing haunted about this place. I have slept in. Uh, a mental institution once and I heard weird noises through the night that I couldn't explain when we were trying to sleep and that made me wonder what the hell's going on in there but not this place guys and nothing going on in here except for these swallows flying around the hallway And here we are, guys. This is where uh, Freedom Rider and I set up our camp for the night. Got ourselves two cots. And uh, a little bit of a fire to keep us warm in the night. So I'm going to get myself a drink, refresh my voice, and uh, take a quick break. And then we'll go inside and check out the rest of this place, guys. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, getting right back to it. <clears throat> Had a little bit of a drink here, a little bit refueled. And uh, in here, I'm guessing this is probably a gymnasium, but I'm not 100% sure because looking up on the roof and the ceiling, there's these things hanging that I can't quite picture what would have hung from these. And I don't see, I don't know, you know what, I might be wrong about this. Maybe this is something else, like a workshop or something, but I don't think that this is a gymnasium. It is in rough shape either way, guys. 
back here. Oh, it's just a bathroom. Take a look out the window, guys. There you go. Take a look around. <clears throat> what is up, guys? <laughs> Okay guys, so this is the auditorium. Top floor, got your stage. It's looking pretty rough. Stage is starting to collapse down a little bit. <clears throat> that crow outside is pissed. And basically guys, what we're standing on right now on the floor, this is the ceiling. Because up on the ceiling, it's completely fallen down. So we're now basically standing on all of the soot that was once the ceiling. Underneath here is parquet flooring. We'll be able to see some in a minute. But here's your stage, guys. I wonder if the inmates put on a show every once in a while. Interesting, eh? Stage. And then there you go. I'll head over here and I'll show you guys some parts of the floor that are still intact. Take a look right here. And oh, that's not, oh, here we go over here. <clears throat> So here's some parts of the parquet flooring that's still intact right here. Uh, there's little pieces of it all over the place, but yeah. This looks like it was a bathroom. That looks like they were urinals or something right there. <clears throat> So now, guys, we're going to head up to the roof, and I'll show you guys the view from the top. And then we're going to go downstairs and check out the power building. And then that's about it. And it's picture time. Here's Rhythm Rider. What is up, guys? Taking a break? Yep. Okay, guys, here we go. There's that crow right there. Look at the size of that thing. Wow. Okay, guys, welcome to the roof. Beautiful view up here. It's nice and breezy. It's warm but breezy. Just gonna uh, jump down there. Yay. So check out here guys <clears throat> where the bricks are separating from the building and falling down one by one down to the ground there. Not a good place to be standing. Yeah. Mosquitoes were really bad last night as were the black flies yesterday during the day. Not so bad right now. So we'll take you over, and this is where we started the video, guys, right down there. So right now we're directly above the main entrance of the jail, and then you look here to the, from the right to the left, and you can see the whole piece of property here.
there used to be <clears throat> um, there used to be like a, almost like a town or a village in the area around here and uh, in the late 70s and early 80s they tore them all down but they did leave this one they only left the jail standing but there was pretty much an entire village of houses and stores and stuff in this area now it's pretty much just nothing but grass and trees and forest and then the jail right in the middle if you guys are on the 360 video this is a pretty good chance for you guys to look around and uh, check the place out other than what I'm just showing you with my own eyes <clears throat> So the, uh, the guys that own this place, they apparently have plans to eventually turn this into something, but, uh, I mean, first of all, that's going to cost them a fortune to do, because, I mean, there's no power out here, so they got to run electricity out, they got to run plumbing, they got to bring the building up to code, which, I mean, it would be pretty much impossible, well, no, but I guess you got to have a lot of money to do it. But the plan is to turn this into something, whether it's like a conference center or a hotel or something. You guys can feel free to fast forward this part if it's boring. Just walking around on the roof. I'm not going to walk all the way over the other side of the roof, but I'm just going to go to that other corner right here ahead of us and just take a look around. <clears throat> I'm not as excited in my video today, guys, because I'm pooped. My whole body hurts from that walk in yesterday. I got shotgun shells here. There's a whole bunch of them actually. There's just one right there. <clears throat> but uh, there's 22 casings and shotgun shells all over the place up here on the roof. When we got here yesterday, there was four kids here. Came in on ATVs and they said that they've seen bears. We've been here before and saw bears. So anyways, Take a look down here, down on the, uh, the grass, and take a nice look up at this piece of the property here, how big it is. There is a stream that runs through it, but you can't see it, and then over here, then there's the prison. <clears throat> okay guys, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stop the video, and I'm going to go inside, take another drink. And then I'll meet you guys and we'll go downstairs and we'll check out the cafeteria, uh, the kitchen, and the powerhouse building, and then we're going to wrap it up. See you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so here we are. We are at the crossroads in the very main reception area over there on the main floor. And we're going to head down here now, down this ramp, and we're going to go check out the kitchen. All right. Now what we think we're looking at here is this is probably where the guards would sit to observe and watch because this is the cafeteria. This would be where the guard where the prisoners come and go. And so this here is most likely where the guards would sit and they would be protected by their armored doors, by their look at how thick the glass was here, guys. Hold on a second here. Super thick glass in between them. So this is definitely where the guards would come to sit and uh, observe. <clears throat> and then here we are in the cafeteria. Very quiet in here now. If you guys are in your 360 uh, video, just feel free to look around. I, I know I'm walking in circles here, but you guys are free to look around and check things out. As you can see, a lot of graffiti. This is a very popular spot here. Okay. 
And this is likely where they served and cooked the food right here. My guess, anyways, makes the most sense to me. <clears throat> I wonder what kind of food they served here. And then we discovered this last night. Right here, we found a spiral staircase right here. And it goes up into this room, which is like an observation type area, is what we're guessing. And that pretty much covers the cafeteria and the kitchen. Now we're going to head in here into the power building. Okay, we come on in here, we head down these stairs here. Oh man, my pants keep falling down. Oh. Okay guys, here we go. This is your power building. a bunch of stuff in here and you got some more stuff in here those are made for some nice shots with those lights coming through from this from the ceiling there and okay so then you got these three monsters here providing the power to the whole facility. There are tunnels, but they're pretty dirty and flooded. So we decided we're not going to go into those tunnels today. So there you go, guys. Get a good look at that. Too dark in there. Let's take a walk around the other side here. Hole over here. I don't know where that goes. Oh, 
there's a it's like a water water system water drainage system there and there she is guys right there there you go there it is Okay guys, that wraps this one up. That wraps up my Camp Bison Burwash Correctional Facility 360 video. I hope you guys have liked it. Um, I've linked the main video in the comments down below. I've also linked it in the uh, video description down below. And I'm also going to link it in the cards on the video. So you guys have every possible way to check out. If you don't want to see, um, if, if you like the 360 video but you want to see the regular video, then make sure you hit the, uh, the description and check it out guys. Because the main main video is pretty much the same, but it may be a little more clear because these 360 videos are a little bit tough to film these days. So anyways, guys, hope you guys have liked it. Hit the like button. Drop me a comment down below. If you're not subscribed, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget, Rhythm Rider, his comments are, his links are down below. Don't forget, guys, Rhythm Rider, his links are down below. He went through hell with me to get to this place. We've had a blast here. Make sure you watch his video. I'm probably going to have a couple of cameos in his video, just like he had in mine. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for being here. See you guys in the next 360 adventure.